हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन। टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट ऑन एवलांश करंट गेन सो वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ द एवलांश फोटो डिटेक्टर इफ यू हैव स्टिल नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो इट इज हाईली रिकमेंडेड दैट यू गो बैक वॉच इट फर्स्ट एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन द गेन ऑफ द एवलांश फोटो डिटेक्टर so let's understand it if you have seen the previous video now you know we have the two regions absorption region and the gain region in the avalanche photo detector now what happens in the absorption region we are taking the photons and with the help of photons we are generating the carriers in the electron hole pair form right these electron hole pair will move from here to the gain region with the help of drift velocity and in the gain region they are multiplied now what happens at the increased temperature if i increase the temperature the vibrations will be more for the electron hole pair and they are going to lose the energy with the vibrations also so thermal vibrations are making the energy less and due to which the impact ionization phenomena will be reduced and the number of newly generated electrons would be less in the gain region I hope you understood this. So now, if I increase the temperature, the variations or the thermal vibrations in the crystal would be increasing. Newly generated electron hole pair loses out some of the energy against these vibrations. So we have the temperature variations. Temperature variation causes the voltage variation. The voltage variations we are going to lose out some of the energy, and due to which the breakdown current, breakdown voltage required is now increased. So now, when the breakdown voltage is increased, we will be having the less impact ionization. So I hope you remember the energy band diagram. So in the gain region, we had this type of diagram, and then we had the stable diagram. So this was the maximum voltage required, right? So this is the maximum voltage required for impact ionization. right so when when i increase the temperature this maximum voltage is going to shift from here up to here so all of the impact ionization that was happening at this region now will happen only at this region so these impact ionization are reduced due to which i am going to get lesser carrier multiplication impact ionization effect is reduced at the same reverse voltage right so i can say same current gain at the increasing temperature in the avalanche photodiode requires the increase in the breakdown voltage if i increase the breakdown voltage somehow like this then only i am going to get the same impact ionization otherwise the impact ionization will not be same the current gain curve of the avalanche photodiode you can see it is shifted so this is the temperature 0 degree now here you can see at the 0 degree we are going to get this type of current gain curve right so now if i increase the temperature to 3 it is going to shift in the right if i increase the temperature it is going to shift if i increase the temperature it is going to shift you can see we are increasing the reverse biased breakdown voltage so now the application of higher voltage is required to get the same current right so here we require the less voltage for the generation of same current but here we require more voltage for the generation of the same current so now i can say vb has increased so now you can see the effect on of the temperature can be represented by this equation here the multiplication m is represented as 1 upon 1 minus v upon vb where v is the applied reverse bias voltage the reverse bias voltage that i have applied here this is the v the change in the variation of v can be represented from here the vb i have already told you it has increased so when i increase vb so v upon vb is going to decrease now 1 minus v upon vb is going to increase 
so if i divide it by 1 so it is going to decrease so multiplication factor is going to decrease so this thing you should understand when vb is increasing v upon vb is going to decrease its square is further going to decrease now 1 minus v upon vb is going to increase if i subtract it from 1 it is going to increase if i subtract a smaller value from 1 it is having a larger value as the output now when i have 1 upon a very high value i am going to get the decreased value so i can say the multiplication factor is going to decrease or i can say the impact ionization is going to increase vb is the reverse bias voltage at the temperature t naught now vb with the temperature relation can be found out with the help of this equation so vb at the given temperature can be equated as vb at the temperature t naught 1 plus alpha t minus t naught right so where if I increase the temperature, Vb is going to increase. You can see temperature and Vb are having the direct relationship between them. Right? So alpha is now greater than 1 and this is how we are going to get the te higher temperature, higher Vb. That is what I said, v Vb is going to increase and from this equation we can prove this as well. So now V will be equal to Va minus IMRM. So when I can increase the V, when V is decreased, when the temperature is increased, which means from here we can see alpha and beta are going to decrease. When Vb is increasing, the multiplication factor or the current gain is increasing. So now this is the equation for the responsivity, the current with the help of the voltage. So now you can see when the voltage is increasing, the responsivity current are also affected with the temperature. So this is all about the effect of temperature on the avalanche current gain. So if you have understood everything, you are going to push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and give me your feedback. And if you have any doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment. Thank you so much.